Earth Bed. Good day learners, this is Earth Pen. Another episode means another learning. This time, we will understand how binomial system works in naming organisms. From the previous videos, we already understood that asexual reproduction can infinitely produce different variation of genetic material from the haploid to diploid production. This also explains why humans, animals, Plants and other multicellular organisms here on Earth is so diverse. In fact, Earth is the home of approximately 1 million species. Shocking, right? And did you also know that the small red bugs with little black spots seen on the leaves that we commonly call ladybugs have different species? So how could we have identified this great number of species? How were these even named and classified individually. This is very much made simpler through the use of binomial nomenclature. By definition, binomial nomenclature is the formal or standard naming system used by scientists to identify, classify, and name species. This naming system was introduced by the Swedish botanist and physician Carolus Linnaeus in the late 17th century. From the word binomial, it comes from the Latin word binomen, which means two names. And the binomial nomenclature system gives two Latinized consecutive names for each organism. This two Latinized consecutive name is what we refer as the scientific name of the organism. The first name is called the genus of the species. It is written with a capital letter for its first letter, while the second name is called the specific epithet, which is also written in all small letters. The binomial nomenclature system has also its own rules in writing scientific names. It has different rules when printed in book and handwritten. This is to standardize the writing system and to easily recognize scientific names in articles or any written text. Scientific names must be in italicized form when printed in books, while writing the scientific names manually are not in italics but are underlined. The genus name of the species comes first with its first letter in capital case, then followed by the specific epithet in all small cases. Pretty easy to follow, right? Let's take for example these following scientific names with its corresponding common names. Please do also take note that scientific names could be written by abbreviating the genus name into its first and in capital letter. Let us take for example the E. coli and famous dinosaur which is the T-Rex or formerly the Tyrannosaurus rex. Scientists who are in charge in naming species are, are called taxonomists. These people use the Latin language for the binomial nomenclature system because Linnaeus introduced it as the most practical language that time since Latin is the most commonly used language and is understood by most of the biologists. Aside from that, the words in Latin are also very descriptive, which is very helpful to easily identify classify and name organisms. That is why scientific names are literally describing the organism. And most commonly practiced descriptions are where it was identified or who identified the species first. Let us take for example the local species that can only be found or discovered in the Philippines. The Delinea philippinensis or the Philippine Delinea, Enectus philippinensis or Philippine ant, Naya philippinensis or the Philippine cobra and Nepenthes philippinensis or the pitcher plant in Palawan. And that is all for now. I hope you learned something from us today. Once again, this is Earth Pen. Learning has never been this easy for anyone, anywhere. Have a nice day.